Hey what's going on guys, my name is FaceJS, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be reacting to PewDiePie's workout review. I'm a little bit late to the party. I wanted to go over this video because he's been ripped. Marcia posted this photo online of PewDiePie. Everybody went nuts. Everybody was like, what the fuck? PewDiePie's ripped. That's insane. Uh, yeah, today we're going to go over PewDiePie's video. Before we do that, we are in honor of Felix Kienberg or Fjellberg. We are drinking some PewDiePie G Fuel, so I just want to make sure I'm ready for, to react to Felix, you know? I'm drinking his G Fuel so I can say Felix because we're pretty much best friends at this point. I actually love this flavor, it's really, really good. If you want to get some G Fuel, face Jasper gives you 30% off until June 8th, so until tomorrow. How's it going, bros? My name is PewDiePie. PewDiePie! PewDiePie ripped! PewDiePie so strong! This has basically been all over any form of That's the photo. Form of social media. This is the photo. This is it. The abs, you can see the abs, you can see some muscle definition there. He's not big, oh but God. I wasn't planning to talk about it or make a video like this in a long time, at least Same. I don't know, <laughs> six months, a year, to for me to actually gain some muscle. I'm not I, I feel like I still have a long way to go, but Hey, uh, he knows. People don't realize it takes a long time to get ripped. As you said, six six months to one year of working out got him lean, like lean ripped ish. You know, so obviously he was skinny when he started out. So you can see some muscle definition, uh, but he's not was, big, I big. Was putting up some likes, so she she shared it on her social media because you know it's lame if I share it. And But I, I do that all the time. Is that lame? PewDiePie, man. I, I guess since people always... I've always been very skinny for a very long time and people always always see me that. that so you gain any form of muscle and people are like, What? <laughs> I, I even saw people online debating if I'm using roids or any sort of supplement. It's like, I don't even know what they're talking about. I don't even know what it means. People get that all the time. When you just start working out and you get some muscle, everybody's like, Steroids or do you take creatine? It's so bad for you, man. Not a bad thing. It's like in a, in a sense it's a compliment You can clearly see he's working out. He's doing well I don't even really have a problem with people saying it because you just don't know but it's it's kind of funny I'm not that strong. I thought why don't I just start off by showing uh, what my gym looks like welcome and here's my gym setup nice Okay, we got a bench and we got two sets of dumbbells now the dumbbells are Probably the dumbbells that you can change weight in. So he has a bunch of dumbbells. You can see his wrist wraps. He has straps on. So I, I guess for any pulling mo mo movements. That's all you need really. If you think about it. It's resistance training. So if you have some type of resistance. Then you can get muscle. Spots me. Thank you very much for doing that. So basically it's just this. Uh, what is it called? Bench? <laughs> Okay, he has a he has a bench that you can go incline and probably decline as well. It's so bad. Half the time the it is. are coming off and I have to keep If you think about this, right? Feel it, PewDiePie is very rich and he is very successful and he can easily afford uh, a whole gym setup easily. But the thing is, I like this. I like this a lot because he's like I'm gonna have a bench, some dumbbells, I'm good. If he sticks to it, if he sticks to it for one, two years, maybe he, he will be like, oh, maybe I'll invest my money in the gym because I really like it. But maybe he didn't like it after three months, so and then he bought a whole gym for nothing. I mean, clearly he's smart. That's kind of dangerous though. If, if, if the bench is faulty, that's kind of dangerous, but we'll let it slide. You can very quickly change each weight that you want. You want 30, 40, 60, 50, 70. It goes up to 90 actually. It goes up to 90, that's yeah. sick. And even 10 without anything. So if I want 30, bam, lift up, ready to go. And that's why I have this uh, wrist protection because it hits my wrist. Oh, I see. That's why he has the wrist wraps on. Uh, not because of the actual pushing mo movement, but it's kind of annoying. It looks very uncomfortable to lift, to be honest. If I, if I would do a, like a bench press with this, like a dumbbell press, it looks very uncomfortable. But hey, if that's what you have, then that's what you have. I also have these. Which are good for it's good it's good for extra grit when you're doing pull exercises. Um. <laughs> you can clearly tell he, he he say he knows like he knows but he doesn't really know you know so he's like uh the p pulling exercises I guess <laughs> so I like that I like that a lot dude like it almost seems for a lot of people that it, that the bar is very high when you have to go to the gym because you have to know all these things but it's not true you need to know some basics and. 
obviously you need to know how to perform exercises, but it is the, the bar of entry is so low. You can go in there. Yes, you can injure yourself and yes, it could be dangerous, but dude, it's not that difficult. You know, everybody can do it. That journal here. He got a workout journal. Now, you know, he's on his shit. Very important tip. If you are starting out in the gym, it is very, very important to have some type of journal in your phone or in a little book because you can write down what you did in the workouts. Then you can look back at it and see like, hey, I did eight reps with 36 kgs. Hmm, maybe I can try 38 kgs. Obviously, he can't do that right now, but maybe I can try seven with a little higher weight. If you don't know, if you forget, you don't know you're just doing anything and like you're not really improving and setting those steps, so. Down all the, uh, this is me day one. I was doing flight press 50. I was doing 70. And then I could do... It's not that bad, actually. I haven't improved that much. It's just, I hurt my arm recently. So I haven't really... I'm careful. I also hurt my back from lifting down the dumbbell, which is equally important. Yeah, the negative. When you put them down... Yeah, it's very important to keep that in mind. Both up and down, the movement should be correct. I just really like the idea that I can move it anywhere. Uh, it feels very liberating to have that kind of setup. And you can do a ton with dumbbells, like I said in the video. So just be careful. That's all. So I've never. You can do pretty much everything with dumbbells. I mean, if you want to get some muscle, it doesn't really matter, man. Like, you can just get bigger with dumbbells. Obviously, over time, you can ha use different stuff. And the gym, obviously, like, like if you look at a gym is obviously better because you have more variety. It's more fun. I've never actually spoken about my workout history or whatever. In 2016, I had never been to a gym before in my entire life. And I, I didn't know anything. I had a proper... Yo, what the hell, man? Look at this hip alignment. <laughs> what noise. If you've never been to a gym before, ask a friend to introduce you or, or even better, ask one of the personal trainers at the gym. They'll definitely be one and they'll help you out. I, I keep seeing the sentiment that people that are maybe overweight or, or uh, don't feel confident about their body or feel like they're going to be judged or something like that. That just couldn't be further from the true. And I got to say, the personal trainers that I worked with have just been the most motivating and supportive uh, uh, people. Usually that's a big misconception in the gym that people in the gym are very into themselves, egoistic. Everybody in the gym, when I started out, I was really, really skinny. You're still fucking skinny, bro. All the people in the gym, personal trainers or the people who go there regularly, the big bodybuilders, they are all the nicest. They would love to help someone who just started out, out because they know what comes with gym and what comes with growth and what comes with learning the exercises. So they love to help. The problem was that I didn't have a goal with my exercise. I just sort of went with it, which was a big mistake. And I knew, you know, at the back of my mind, I was working myself to the point where I was throwing up, you know, I was really almost, I wasn't actually throwing up, but uh, when you feel like, oh God, I cannot give any more. Lo and behold, I got sick. I got a stomach flow that was really bad and it knocked me out for two to three weeks. And after that, I just, I just never picked it up again. And yeah, big problem. If you don't have any goals, obviously it's easier to give up when something gets in the way. For him, it was a stomach flu. Like you're out of the gym. Like for, for, for now, the Corona crisis for a lot of people is gonna be detrimental to their gains and detrimental to their motivation to go to the gym because they can't go. Um, once that cycle of working out and getting into that routine is broken, it's hard for a lot of people to to pick it up if you don't have a specific goal. Yeah, so I decided to myself, okay, I'll just set up a bench. I'll set up some dumbbells at home and I can just work out from that, you know? And this time I'm not gonna make the same mistake. I'm just gonna be consistent and I'm not gonna overdo it. So I did that for a year, this really measly workout just to be consistent. Cause you know, I've been consistent on YouTube and that's sort of been my success. So that can translate into exercise. And uh, I, yeah, it just got to a point where I was fed up and I, I wanted to really start pushing myself. And I did that two months ago. And that's when I really started to notice the big difference that you've seen in, in the photos today. This time I had a clear goal, what I was getting into. So I just needed to push myself this time. Uh, but how? I, didn't have a, I don't have a personal trainer anymore. So I sort of became my own personal trainer. I knew which workout that was needed to be done. I just didn't know how to not slack off. Tracking down my training, I, I wrote down in a journal, which you saw earlier, my reps, my sets, the weights, and how much uh, rest time I would keep. And I would really try and push myself each time to make sure I was making progress. In retrospect, I don't think that was the most 
important thing to do the most important thing is to really do it until you fail like you can't push any longer that should be the goal instead uh, in a sense not every set or rep has to be to failure uh, f in order to promote muscle growth the the idea behind it is not wrong you need to push yourself uh, but you don't have to be puking every workout to be a good workout you know you can you can have a great workout in 30 minutes and not feel sick that's what I'm saying uh, so yeah it's not really you don't have to go to failure every set but I get it so Mondays I do push exercises I do chest heavily on chest Everyone keeps making fun of my chest in the in the photo, but it looks better in person. Trust me. It's <laughs> so it's a push workout. Okay, okay. So chest, shoulders, triceps. And then Tuesdays I do leg, squats, deadlifts, yada yada, lunges. And then Wednesday I do pull exercises. Okay. And Thursday I do leg leg again, and then Friday I finish with a mix of push and pull. I know there's so upper. Okay, so he has a push, legs, pull legs upper so you have upper twice a week because you have to push and pull then you have legs twice a week on legs on legs obviously tuesday and thursday now i if i would make this program for felix i would have one rest day in between uh, after the pool day so i would have push legs pull rest legs upper or even upper legs because obviously those two legs are um, connected but if you have a rest day here you have two rest days which could be fine but you can switch this around doesn't really matter so it's not it's not a bad workout routine and, and we start out everything is gonna work next thing which is very important and people always say that it's important but then they just ignore it diet probably he's probably gonna say diet but anyway but it, it is equally important because it, when you're lifting weight you're only burning so many calories no matter how heavy of an exercise you don't really lose weight when you're lifting weights, ironically. Uh, you do, but okay. You have to change your diet if you want to lose body fat. And the, probably the biggest difference... I mean, you can lose weight. Uh, it depends on the diet that the person has. Obviously, he's probably talking a little bit more of a regular diet, not really looking at anything diet. Um, having some pizza every Tuesday and Friday's diet. Um, in that sense, he's right. But you, if you have a normal balanced diet and you're eating, you know, on your BMR, if you start lose, uh, if you start exercise on top of that, you will still lose weight. You'll still be in a caloric deficit. But hey, the difference for me was cutting out alcohol, which is something I talked about before. Yeah, in that sense, like he cut out alcohol and probably a lot of fast food. I would assume if he had already had fast food, but alcohol that slips in. That's a lot of calories that you don't really. Think about, uh, obviously, when you put food in your mouth, you eat a burger, you're like, oh, this is such a fat little thing. And you put it in your mouth and you're like, oh, I just ate 6,000 calories. It just feels like that. But with alcohol, you, you drink, you're having fun, you know, you start to lose track of everything and, and, and it starts piling up. I had a, a client of mine who lost so much weight. I quit alcohol completely and I did that for a couple months and I felt, hey, great, you know, I can actually do this. But then afterwards, I just fell back into my old habits and I felt shitty and terrible about it. Like I was... Yeah, my tip on that, my take on that with, with um, cutting out stuff like that is don't cut it out completely, balance it out, lower it, and still enjoy, if you enjoy your whiskey, dude, you can have your whiskey, like, just don't overdo it, that's what you did with the working out, what Felix did with the working out, he overdid the training first time, got sick, he felt bad, you know, went back before he was working out, now drink a lot of whiskey, also that's a bad thing, stop completely, and then fall back, so... Lower it, balance it, and then you'll do it for consistently a longer period of time. Basically made the same mistake I did with my workout as I did with my eating or drinking rather. I feel like uh, gym bros are the most supported people out there. Fact. Yeah, this is my progress so far. Maybe in a year I'll make another video. When I, I love it. PewDiePie, I applaud you, brother. Can I have a quick applause for my boy PewDiePie? That was a very interesting video. Felix, thank you for sharing. Um, if you are watching this video right now and you want to get in shape and you learn something, please subscribe. If you really want to work with me personally, you can go to my uh, description, my co online coaching website. I can help you out with setting up your own personalized workout um, with maybe equipment that you have. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, it does really help me out a lot. And again, 30% of G Fuel with code FaceJasper. 
And, you know, hopefully I can get in touch with Felix. I know he wants to change up his routine, and uh, we'll talk about it. Maybe I can set him up with a little push-pull legs routine. We'll see. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Deuces!